Outlander Book 9 Daily Lines Head Back to Claire's Surgery It's always fun to see Claire at work in the 18th century. That's where recent Outlander Book 9 Daily Lines take us again. Seeing a 20th century doctor at work in the 18th century is always fun. Claire spends a lot of time creating treatments and cures for various ailments and problems. Of course, that means she needs willing volunteers to test those treatments on which is where the Outlander Book 9 Daily Lines take us on June 11th. We get a snippet of Claire thinking about the tests that she needs to do. Fortunately, she has family members who are willing to be test subjects, and in this one she mutters about hitting Jamie over the head regularly for testing reasons. Her current concoction is one with white willow bark, which doesn't sound that pleasant at times considering the drinks she says people need to take it with. What is interesting is hearing how she has to do her tests to make sure she gets her cures and treatments to the right consistency. There's bound to be far more of this and go tell the bees that I am gone. It's one of the first Outlander Book 9 daily lines in a while with just Claire and Jamie. We get a snippet of their lives together as the Revolutionary War brews on the sidelines. However, it's clear that Jamie is there for other reasons. Someone is hurt and Jamie needs Claire. It's not clear who is hurt or why they need Claire. But he is out hunting with Ian, young Ian, presumably, as Ian Murray Sr. has passed away by this point, and other friends. Let's hope something hasn't happened to Ian. Check out the full Outlander Book 9 Daily Lines post here. It is worth noting that this is another Daily Lines post with hashtags to update us on the progress. We really don't have a choice in waiting, but it's good to see Diana Gabaldon has a sense of humor about it.